Captivated, A Kennedy Stern Christian Suspense, Volume 9 by Alana Terry, continues the journey of Kennedy Stern, a college student who has already faced a multitude of challenges and dangers due to her faith and her past ties to China through her missionary parents. As the ninth book in the series, it dives deep into another gripping narrative that combines elements of suspense, personal struggle, and spiritual endurance. The story begins with Kennedy grappling with the trauma of her past experiences, which have left her burdened with anxiety and fear. She is still trying to balance her life as a pre-med student at Harvard University while being involved in her church and its youth group. Kennedy's faith had always been her anchor, but the hardships she's endured have tested her belief in God and His protection. Amid her personal struggles, Kennedy receives a troubling phone call from her friend, Pastor Carl. He informs her that Pastor Sandy, a fellow church member, has been kidnapped by a drug cartel in Mexico. Pastor Sandy had been working on a missionary project when he was taken, and the news is devastating to Kennedy. Carl implores Kennedy to use her past association with the FBI to assist in their friend's rescue. Feeling ill-equipped but compelled by her sense of duty and love for Pastor Sandy, Kennedy reaches out to her contacts in the FBI. She's put in touch with Agent Malone, who has led rescue missions in Mexico before. While skeptical at first, Malone agrees to help Kennedy on the condition that she remains in the U.S. and follows his lead. Canasti faces her own fears and previous trauma associated with previous kidnappings she's been involved in. As the story unfolds, Kennedy converses with a former captor in prison, tries to reconcile her faith while dealing with PTSD, and stumbles into a web of criminal activity linked to Pastor Sandy's abduction. Using her intellect and determination, Kennedy delves into the world of the cartel that has taken Pastor Sandy. She discovers that the organization's reach is far more extensive than she had first thought, extending into illegal operations such as human trafficking and drug smuggling. She also finds out that Pastor Sandy's kidnapping is not a standalone event, but rather a part of a larger scheme involving the cartel's attempt to infiltrate and exploit the church's missionary work for their nefarious purposes. As Kennedy becomes more involved, the stakes get higher. The cartel becomes aware of her investigations and she becomes a target. Meanwhile, back home, Kennedy's friends and fellow church members gather to pray for Pastor Sandy's safe return, showing the power of community and faith in the face of adversity. Kennedy's investigation leads her across the border into Mexico, despite Malone's instructions. She is compelled by a sense of urgency and the knowledge that time is running out for Pastor Sandy. In Mexico, she navigates dangerous terrain and faces threats from the cartel's henchmen. Her quick thinking and courage allow her to uncover critical information that could lead to Pastor Sandy's rescue. Throughout the ordeal, Kennedy's faith is tested in various ways. She struggles with questions about the presence of evil, God's will, and the effectiveness of prayer. However, it is through these very trials that she experiences growth in her spiritual journey. She starts to understand that while her circumstances may be chaotic, God's presence is constant. This realization becomes a source of strength for her. Kennedy's determination does not go unnoticed. Eventually, the combined efforts of Kennedy, the FBI, and her newfound allies in Mexico give them a lead on Pastor Sandy's whereabouts. In a suspenseful turn of events, they orchestrate a high-risk rescue mission. Kennedy's role is critical, as she uses her unique insights into both the cartel's operations and her personal experiences with danger to aid in the rescue. The rescue operation is fraught with tension and danger. Stealth and precision are required to infiltrate the cartel's stronghold and extract Pastor Sandy without alerting the entire operation. Through a series of close encounters and life-threatening moments, the team manages to locate Pastor Sandy and free him from captivity. The mission is a success, but not without its scars. Following the rescue, Kennedy and Pastor Sandy return to the United States. Pastor Sandy's physical wounds will heal, but the emotional and psychological trauma of the ordeal lingers for them both. Kennedy grapples with the gravity of what they endured and her role in it, yet she finds solace in her deepened faith and the support of her community. Back at Harvard, life slowly returns to a semblance of normalcy. 
Kennedy continues her studies, taking comfort in her routines and the supportive network of friends and family. She reflects on how her experiences have not only shaped her character, but also drawn her closer to understanding God's love and sovereign plan. Kennedy's journey in Captivated is a powerful testament to the human spirit and the resilience that can be found in faith. Despite facing her darkest fears, she emerges stronger and more committed to her beliefs. Through her unwavering dedication to helping others and her constant search for truth, Kennedy Stern embodies the very essence of what it means to live out one's faith in the face of adversity. As the book draws to a close, the readers are left with a sense of hope and inspiration. Kennedy's story serves as a reminder of the power of courage, the importance of community, and the unfailing grace that sustains us through our most challenging moments. Alana Terry has woven a tale of suspense and spiritual struggle that resonates with the universal themes of fear, faith, and redemption. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.